YouTube, 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 what's up? It's MJ's uh, Total Health and Wellness uh, Enrichment. Uh, back with another video. Uh, please support the channel by hitting the like and subscribe button. Along with the bell icon to be notified when I drop uh, videos. Well, this won't be a long video today. Uh, there are rumors that Canelo Alvarez is supposed to be making a big announcement today at 3 p.m. Guess what? In a perfect world where the boxing guys were aligned, Canelo's press conference, he would say, I'm fighting David Benavidez for Cinco de Mayo. But guess what, everybody? <laughs> this is not a perfect boxing world, and the boxing guys do not have our backs. So instead, we'll probably get a Jamal Charlo or Jaime Munguia. Which, when I think about it, nobody wants to see those fights. We want to see Canelo Alvarez face the Mexican monster, David Benavidez. Canelo, stop this ducking and dodging, man. Come on. I mean, it, this is crazy. I mean, I, honestly, when, when, when you think about it, you know, Floyd put you on and allowed you to go ahead and become that big money maker in boxing. And I still say to this very day, Floyd Mayweather, you know what? You could have given a Keith Thurman that shot. One of those young guys, but instead, you know, you gave it to Kenneth Alvarez and basically, you know, look we have now. Where you're supposed to be the, the top fighter, but you won't fight the guys that present a challenge to you that are your mandatory opponents. Come on, Canelo. <laughs> Let's go, man. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, I'm not buying any more of your fights. Until you fight a real dog on opponent. David Benavidez. I don't want to hear about, well, David Benavidez needs to fight Dave Morrell. David Benavidez has been your mandatory for about, what, two years now? So you instead um, choose to fight Jamal Charlo, who uh, up until a few months ago hadn't fought no over two years. And that's the fight you think you want to see? No, Canelo. I wanted to see you fight Jamal Charlo nine, ten years ago. That's what I want to see that fight. Or at the very least, we could have seen you fight Charlo uh, five or six years ago. When the man was still somewhat in his prime and was active. But instead, you want to fight uh, Charlo. He's been inactive, a head case. You have the Mexican monster right here in front of you. That's who we want to see you fight. We want to see you fight the Mexican monster, David Benavidez. You know, like I said, in the perfect world, that will be the announcement that you make, Canelo, but we know how you roll right now. We know how you move. Simple as that. You know, so while everybody will sit here and say you've had a Hall of Fame career, this and that, I followed you, Canelo, uh, throughout your career. Um, and I would say at least the past, I've been following Canelo Alvarez for the past, uh, what, 12 years now? And... Like I said, man, you have names and resumes, Canelo. Think about it. You have uh, Hall of Famers that were on the tail end on their careers and faded that are on your resume. We know we always said that we want to see you fight a prime future Hall of Famer in their prime. I mean, right now, this will be your time right now, Canelo, to make a statement. You fight that David Benavidez, Canelo, I can't say nothing. I can't talk to man. But we want to see it, man. I'm tired of all these fans talking about these mythological fights and all this crazy reason. Well, what is it? What is what has he done to deserve a fight with Canelo? What did Yildrum do to deserve a fight with Canelo? What did John Ryder do to deserve a fight with Canelo? Come on now. Are we really doing that stupid argument? No. Number one and number two, meet up. Simple as that. Let's use simple logic. The number one guy fights the number two guy. There we go. 
I'm tired of all this backwards ass logic that people seem to want to lose. Use. Oh well, uh, the guy that's ranked number two or one, oh they haven't done anything to fight my fighter, but then you gonna fight a guy that's ranked number fifteen. You nobody knows. Make that make sense. It's the, the problem is we have too many fanatics in boxing that are just. They fantasize about the fighter and not about the. They're not worried about what the work that the fighter does in the ring. It's, it's about. They're fascinated by the fighter and what he does outside of the ring, but not what he actually does in the ring. Cinco de Mayo, we want the Mexican monster. And guess what? If we can't get the Mexican monster on Cinco de Mayo, we want it during Labor Day. Make it happen, Canelo. It's on you. Once again, another video for MJ's Total Health and Wellness uh, Enrichment. Please support the channel by hitting the like and subscribe button along with the bell icon. Peace.